Maryland heads to Indiana, going over to Bloomington. Indiana is an 11.5 point home dog here, total of 62 over at BetUS, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time on ESPN2. Maryland 2 and 5 against the spread against Indiana in the last 7 meetings. That's nuts. Absolutely nuts. Uh I I would not have believed that if I didn't read it with my own my own two eyes. Maryland 4 and 0 against the spread uh in their last 4 on the road and let's go and pull it up on the screen so that you can be looking at the numbers. Um but Maryland, 4-1 and one against the spread in their last five overall. This season has been pretty good. This looks like a pretty stout defense. The offense, not quite as explosive as we assumed, but regardless, the defense has uh, certainly surprised. Indiana, 3-9 and nine against the spread their last 12 Big Ten games. Uh, not good. That's uh, against the number for sure. Indiana, 3-13 and 13 against the spread in their last 16 games overall. Putrid. Just absolutely awful. Uh, you look at strength of record, you look at strength of schedule, and then you start seeing uh, on this sheet, the green is good and the red is bad, of course. So when you look at this, uh, I I tend to lean Maryland ever so slightly, even on the road. Uh, I don't like what what Indiana is doing. Uh, plays per game, Indiana is number three in the country. Maryland has been playing a lot slower. If you can slow down Indiana, I think you can really, really make them confused, right? They're able to generate some plays because they generate so many plays, right? Uh, their number 110 in PPA per pass is Indiana. They are number 107 in passing success rate, number 94 PPA per rush, number 116 in rushing success rate. And if you look over on Maryland's side, they are really good on defense at all of that. So I look at this and the, uh, so basically Indiana throws the football a lot. They're number three in the country, 65.39% of the time. I, I fully expect that Maryland who is used to defending the pass because people throw the ball 56% of the time on them. That's number one ten in the country. Uh, I think that Maryland is going to be able to slow this team down. And when you look at the offense, uh, no, they're not going to be able to run the football, but they only run the football at like a 44% clip. So their offense, as far as the passing game is concerned, I think is going to be able to do some big things here. They're number uh, 30 in passing explosiveness. Um, and Indiana's defense is number 41 in passing explosiveness allowed. So they're pretty even there. But when you look at the defense overall, number 114 in PPA per pass, and Maryland is number 41 on offense on that. I think that you can find big time advantages for Maryland here. Uh points per scoring opportunity. All that kind of stuff. It all leans Maryland. So <coughs> I am I'm gonna ride with the Terps here. Uh I know that I'm going with another road dog or road favorite, excuse me. But I like Maryland. I think this team's really good. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.